Hi, this is Jerry with Come Cook With Me. Today we're going to go over duck stock. Um, it's just about like chicken stock, but what you're going to get out of it is a much deeper, richer, fuller stock that you're going to just love and enjoy that you can use for so many recipes. First off, start off with a duck. This is Maple Leaf Farm, Farms Duck. It has the orange sauce packet, which we're not going to be using. But what we're going to do is we're going to start out by, I'm going to open this up. I need to open it into a bowl so that all the juices run out into the bowl. But just to go over what we need for stock again is approximately two medium to large onion diced, approximately five medium sized carrots diced, and about four or five celery diced. Just so you have your 50, 25, 25 for your miraprah. And of course you need three gallons of water, which is equivalent to um, 12 quarts. And of course, you know, you can use your jar for that or whatever you have. You need your sachet. We're going to build that in a few minutes after we come start cutting up the duck. You got thyme. Parsley you have parsley stems. You have some um, peppercorns. And of course, you have a couple bay leaves you're going to throw in there also. So, when we get the duck drained and I start slicing we'll be back okay I've taken the duck out of the package I've taken all the gizzards and the heart and everything out and I have the neck because we're going to be using that neck when we start roasting the duck bones the carcass of it and that's what we're going to use in the stock but the rest of it the breast and the legs um, I'm going to be using and other dishes coming up here shortly but right now I'm going to go and turn on my oven to approximately 375 so it starts heating through because we want the oven to be ready so when we put the carcass onto the sheet pan that it starts to brown. And it's going to go for about 20-25 minutes and what we're looking for is just to get the carcass a nice dark color. Okay, just to bring you back, I just wanted to show you, it's the same thing as cutting open a chicken and taking the breast off. You're just going to run your knife down, try to get most of the meat. So just run it down, and you, you just start bringing off the meat. And of course the legs are going to be the same, we're going to open that up and just pop it right out of joint and take them right off. I just wanted to show you that it's the same principle, just a bigger breast, bigger, um, bigger animal than a chicken. Now I've got the breast off into the bowl that I'm going to be putting back for later where I can do the, some other recipes with it. And I just found the joint and I'm just going to cut down into the joint here like so. I don't know if you heard that pop. Let me try the other side. There. It comes right out. But what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and try to keep a lot of fat on these legs and thighs. Just for the point of, I may want to use it to render down, make a duck comfy, or some other type of product out of it. I'm just cutting it right down. I'm going to take it right there by the back of the thighs, the joints right here. Take it right down in there, bring it right out, and there's our legs and thigh, one of them. So now that we have that one, I'll go ahead and get the next one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take it, um, I got my legs and thighs and I got my two breasts underneath. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my knife and just take and cut down the back of the spine and get as much of the fat off I can, which is the skin because ducks have a lot of fat in their skin and just remove everything you can that does not need to be there all the fatty parts and everything else just like here, this is all back here, this is all just plain old skin, I mean it's fat so what I'm going to do is remove that so it don't have to so I don't have to remove it later and so it does not interfere with my stock 
But I'm going to go ahead and take the wings off. Right down the center there. And I'm going to keep a hold of them for now. Also. And these are a little bit easier than a chicken really. Because it's usually straight down along the side of the back. Just like that. Is where the joint's at. So I'm going to keep a hold of those for later. But the rest of this you want to go ahead and just trim off all this fat. And you notice there's a little bit of meat there. It's just going to help with the stock when we get to it. You're just going to take off all the fat I can with the knife. Okay, that looks pretty good, pretty clean. So, with that being said, my oven is coming up to temp. I'm getting close. And this looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do, so I don't have to break it later, I'm going to go ahead and take this. Since it's a larger carcass, it's longer than a chicken carcass, is I'm going to go ahead and just break it off right here in the back. And it's taken. That way I got two pieces. Just make it easier for me to handle whenever I put it into the stock pot. Now I'm all set to go into the oven. I'm just going to place these in here onto my cooking tray. And since it's ready, just about, I'm going to go and stick, stick them in there. We're going to go for approximately 20 25 minutes into the oven until the duck carcass is getting nice and golden brown. Okay, just coming back to show you the sachet. I put the peppercorns, my parsley stems. I love garlic and almost anything and that even goes to stock and I'm just going to rough chop this real quick about three cloves and I'm going to stick that right inside the sachet also. Bring up the corners and you have your string to tie it off. And remember this is just going to be used for flavoring. This is an um, enhancement. It's, it's a, a arom aromatics. Just tie that off, and there's our sachet, which is long enough to put into the stock. Wrap this around the handle so that it does not fall in, and you're able to retrieve it any time. And that's going to go along with our thyme and our bay leaves when we're ready to take and go into the stock pot. Um, my duck has about another 15 minutes to go. I just wanted to bring you back and show you the sachet. I'm going to shut my oven off. It's been about 20-25 minutes now. I'm going to go and turn my stock pot on. I'm going to put it on high to start with. As soon as it comes to a boil, I'm going to turn it down to simmer. But what we're going to do right now is pull out our duck. That way you have roasted. Nice and brown. Nice and dark. That's including the neck. Everything goes in. Okay, now that all that's in there, now all that's left is to throw our mirror Yeah, like I said, he's invisible. He started kidding me. Our thyme and bay leaves, just toss the thyme in, kind of stick it down in the water. Bay leaves. And of course, our sachet. Which, like I said, we're just going to stick it in there. And we're going to take and wrap this here around the handle so we're able to retrieve it when it's time. As far as the time goes, and the bay leaves, there, we can get those out with the tongs and or when we strain the stock. So this is going to cook for approximately two, two and a half hours so we get a nice deep rich color. But as I said, right now it's on high just so we can bring up the temp. As soon as it gets up, we'll take and turn it down just to a simmer. Okay, we're about an hour, hour and 15 minutes into my um, duck stock reducing. And something I like to do, some people take and um, use tomato paste and it gives it that rich dark color I was talking about. 
Some people like to put it on a duck and just roast it in the oven and then throw it up on top, throw it into the water. I like to take and heat a pan, which I have going now, and take good heaping two tablespoons, throw it into my pan and let it brown this, this way and then add it to my stock about halfway through the cooking process. That's just the way I prefer to do it. Okay, we're back. I'm going to shut the heat off on my stock. It's reduced quite a bit, about a quarter down. And that tomato paste gave a nice, darker, richer flavor that we needed. Now, please excuse the background noise if you hear any. Uh, my son is playing a video game and he gets kind of loud with it. So. Just wanted to let you know. Now, what we're going to need is we're going to strain it first. Um, you know, get some of the bigger chunks out after we pull our sachet out. Hey, look at there. Our time is coming with it. And we're just taking just a quick demonstration again, just like before with the chicken stock. We're just going to take and start taking out the bigger chunks. Just like this. And when we get most of them out, there's the carcass. When we get most of them out, we'll come back and we'll finish up the stock. Okay, now that mo the majority of the thicker um, product, you know, the, the bones and the uh, mirror pro is out, we're just going to take a little strainer and a bowl and we're going to take and start straining it to make sure we don't get no big chunks like so and if you notice all the bigger chunks are right and then stays in the strainer so that when we get this filled up we're just going to um, continue on and I'll show you how we're going to degrease it this time now that we have it like that I bought one, I bought one of these it's a strainer and it uh, takes away the grease I'm going to fill it up to about three quarter of the way you can pick this up at Rural King and different places it seems pretty nifty. I'm going to give it a shot today. Otherwise, I'd be letting that cool some and skimming it like I did before in the ch um, chicken stock video. And from the instructions on this one, it says to let it set for about 10 minutes. That way the grease, or you know, grease left over, will go flat, rise to the top. You squeeze the handle and the clear juices come out. So, let's give this a shot and see how this works. What we're going to do is we're just going to fill this up like I said about three quarter of the way one more small scoop and now I'm going to let it set for a few, about 10 minutes. And as you can see, the steam is in there, but it's going to sit for about 10 minutes and we should have fat on the top. And all I got to do is watch it, hold it over the bowl, release, or we yeah, squeeze and release the bottom and wait for the juice to come straight down into the bowl. Once the fat gets close, I'll stop it, but I'll show you that when we come back. Let, let him stay still. Let him stay still. Okay, we're back. It's been about 10 minutes and I can see a small thin layer of fat on top and all I'm going to do is take and strain it one more time like this. Just pull that, let that ooze out nice and easy. And I'm just going to watch it when it gets close to the top. I'm going to stop it and discard the rest. Right about there. That should have all the fat. You can see actually some of the fat right here and there shouldn't be no fat in there. I mean it looks delicious. It really does. I even tasted it a second ago. It tastes great too. But um, we're going to do that to the rest of this and we're going to take it and um, probably can it. My wife's going to can it. We'll probably show you the picture of that or um, let you see that in a few minutes. But that right there is basically our duck stock. That's what we have. That's what we've done. And this can be used in many recipes, um, many different products that you can create. Okay, just wanted to bring you back and show you uh, my wife canned up um, the rest of the stock. And that's what it looks like. It looks beautiful, nice, dark, rich. 
and we got about a total of eight quarts of stock out of what we made out of the three gallon which is 12 quarts so it reduced about a, about a quarter or so so that's just to let you know and again this is Jerry with come cook with me